Welcome to the Tab Demo, the coolest software for web animation and other stuff you're going to discover. As I start studying my character with some sketch, I find the pleasure of hand drawing in a paperless system. When I do the cleanup, I exploit the pressure sensitivity feature, choosing the maximum and minimum thickness. Then I deactivate the sketch modality. Once I've defined approximately a drawing, I can shape it up using a large amount of amazing tools. For example, using the pinch with no need to handle any nasty control point, I pick a line and change its shape wherever I want. I can set the size of the segment I want to modify to make corrections and build my drawing as if I were playing with strings on a table. With the pump tool, I change the line thickness locally to get a calligraphic effect in the easiest and quickest way. In fact, even if I were able to do it on paper, it would have taken a very longer time. When I'm satisfied with my drawing, I paint it all at once using a paint helper. And as I want to change a color, I do it in the palette and every area of the drawing painted with that color is automatically updated. You can choose to draw your animation frame by frame or you can prefer a very quicker process. Actually, thanks to the modifier tools and the adaptive fill properties, it's possible to paint a drawing before animating it. After having duplicated the first drawing, I open the mouth of my fish with the magnet tool, which allows me to move several strokes together. And I also move a little the fin. Now, with the automatic in betweening function, I get the other frames with no need to draw all of them. Now, I want to give it a movement with a different timing. So, in the third frame, I bend the tail with a new special tool, the bender. Then I use the iron to smooth the line and do a partial in betweening. As you see, the field follows every change I make to the line, as if it was made with liquid glue, thanks to an innovative technology. It is useful to make corrections and revolutionary to make animation. Well, my fish is alive, so let's make him swim. I drag and drop my drawings in the scene editor and I assign a duration to the loop I've just created. As I select a path movement and I draw a path, the character is automatically positioned on it. And if I want to change the shape of my path, I modify it with the very same tools I used to draw. Or I simply redraw it. No need of any value to type or any complicated graph to edit. Now that the fish swims, I want to give him a breath. That's why I draw some bubbles with a special style. I change some parameters and animate this level too. To make the bubbles follow the fish movement, all I have to do is a click on the link icon. Then I reposition the level and check the result with a manual play. I would like to add to the scene a group of small fishes but I don't want to draw them one by one, so I first draw fish as a module. I draw it without outlines, but I give it a shape with a pump. I save this level in the custom style folder, and as I open the style editor, I find there my brand new style, so I can use it as an element repeated along a line. I also can edit its distance its rotation, and as I change the thickness of the line, I get different size of little fishes. Finally, I assign a movement to this group of fishes, simply giving them a starting position and an ending one. This way, two keyframes are automatically created. You can see here a hierarchy icon. I click it to open a sub scene in the fish scene. Then I can better handle some background elements. I'm going to show you how to get a 3D camera movement with no need of a 3D operating knowledge. Once I've drawn a seaweed level, I copy it on a few columns. 
I open the 3D viewer and position each column on a different depth in the multiplane environment. To assign a movement to the camera, I use the same keyframe process and the motion interpolation is done. I set the camera view to watch in it and make some adjustments.